Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation. And uh, this entire episode is basically just kind of like one giant big announcement about a new update that should be live as of right now at the time of this video being out for you guys to see. Explaining and showing off the most recent changes that have been made on the website khuxtracker.com. Now, for those of you that have been following me on this channel for quite some time now, uh, you should know by now that I actually uh, work with Rosie, who is the uh, creator of the Tracker website, uh, for quite some time now. I think I think we've been working together for almost about f somewhere about five to six months now at this point in time. So, like for example, in case you aren't aware, for example, uh, if you were going to pick a medal that's on her website, uh, let's just take Prime Axel in this instance uh, she has a button right here called the metal analysis button and when you click on it it actually takes you to one of the web pages on my website where I actually have my full-blown articles out for whatever specific metal it is all right and they're pretty in detail and within my articles as well uh, in reverse I also leave uh, sources and links to go back to her website uh, in case you guys ever want are intrigued and want to try out new setups and such so it's it's a very it's a very beneficial relationship and honestly it's just really enjoyable to actually be able to work together uh for something really cool like this and we're, and we're both still nowhere near done <laughs> with what we're trying uh to get in the long run <laughs> in terms of how things are playing out so so rosie if you're watching this i really appreciate the opportunity uh, that was given to us for us to work together. But aside from introductions, the main thing I want to show off to you guys today, uh, which is pretty much what this video is going to be about, is about these most recent changes that you can obviously see here that is done to the site. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the site or haven't been on it in a while, this is actually what the site used to look like at first, okay? Um, it has a lot of standard stuff that we had beforehand, which is the Keyblade, obviously, the multipliers, uh, and just recently the subslots too. And in the past, because of the fact that it wasn't really that effective in terms of calculating damage, it was primarily to be used as a comparison tool uh, to actually figure out which setups would be better to use compared to others that you would have. Um, and you can still use it to this day with this new update. However, one of the biggest changes that has been made uh, in this update, and there's actually quite a few of them, but we're touching this one first, is the fact that the actual damage formulas that have been used for the longest time on the site and actually within the community as well have been pretty obsolete for a very long time and just were simply not that efficient. They were just kind of rough estimates, all right? However, about a month ago, more or less, um, two people by the name of Ryu Gassen and Mixis actually helped develop a damage calculator that they actually, uh, for a period of time, only made exclusively available for their own party members. Um, but then after considering it, they actually decided to release it to the public on Reddit uh, here at this uh, page right here. I actually took a look through this damage calculator itself and it was actually very specific and pretty darn accurate in terms of calculations um, and trying to figure out actual damage output uh, according to the type of enemy in, in terms of the type of mode that you're in, so raid bosses, Colosseum, uh, average uh, Joes that you fight in the normal quests and stuff like that, basically everything. And uh, I was so blown away by this, and so was Rosie, uh, that with their permission, uh, she was able to work together with them to help get those actual damage mo uh, formulas and stuff like that that they uh, introduced in her damage calculator um, to actually integrate them into her site now. And because of the fact they also uh, brought it to my attention as well as a YouTuber, um, I was very inter interested in it as well. And uh, Rosie and I started talking and... and uh, she basically let me be able to beta test it for a little bit and also make this video in advance for you guys so that way once it comes out uh, you guys can actually be able to uh, use the site properly and understand what the heck is going on. So big shout out to Rio Gassen and Mixis. I'll be leaving their Reddit social media links down below in case you want to go ahead and check that out and give them a follow. We honestly couldn't have done without the help. So if you can give them a follow, I think they would really appreciate that. I'll also be leaving Rosie's social media links down uh, below as well. So that way if you want to go ahead and check her out or if you find bugs or anything, 
uh, and when you find the website or you want to offer suggestions, you can go ahead and let her know. So the first thing I want to mention to you guys in terms of the updates to the site is that because of the fact that the damage calculations uh, that were introduced by Mixes and Ryu Gassen were so accurate, um, or at least accurate enough, they're not perfect yet, but they're literally some of the most accurate uh, damage formulas that we have seen in quite a long time uh, that we can actually start using the site as more of an actual damage calculator now at this point in time rather than just a comparison tool like we used to do in the, in the past. For any of you that have read my meta analysis before in the past, you would know that I have in my competitive meta setups and such, uh, little disclaimers that are always stating that this is not an accurate amount of damage that can be dealt with this setup and is to be used solely as a comparison tool against other setups. However, with this new update, you can actually start using the site as more of an actual damage calculator now. Keep in mind that it's still not perfect, but it's still a hell of a lot better <laughs> than what we used to have in the past. So after stating that, the first thing you notice is that there is no longer the, uh, the damage uh, type of like button options that we used to have down here. So if I go on the old version of the site and we scroll down, you can see uh, this is what it used to be here. Okay, we had the enemy type. Uh, we do the AB damage method or the AB and GDD damage method. Okay, these are gone because in fact we have new methods now, which makes sense. We had the average uh, and then we had rate. These were also unnecessary now because in fact we have much more specific actual formulas now. So that entire section right there is just gone when you scroll down. And instead what has happened is that all of that has basically been integrated into this entire section over here. Uh, now, just in case you want to find out what the actual methods for the formulas are being used uh, within the damage calculations and stuff like that, you can actually go up here to the top right hand corner of the screen, click on menu, click on methods that is right here, and it'll go ahead and it'll take you to a link that gives you a full description of all the methods that are being used. Uh, these are the methods that were uh, used and provided from Ryu Gassen and Mixes as help. Uh, even provide some of the buff multipliers for certain types of keyblades and such. Uh, power up conditions, so like uh, more gauges full. Uh, metals that say like with the more special attacks that are used. Uh, the lower the slot number, higher the slot number. Basically almost all of the most common types of things we tend to see within the game. Uh, there's a formula for it right here on this method page. So if you're interested in finding out what those extra specific formulas are, you can go ahead and check that out right there. However, if you just kind of just want to use the site casually and conveniently, of course, um, which is going to be a majority of you, you can actually just use this super helpful tool that Rosie has provided on the left hand side for us right here, uh, which is essentially kind of like a quick selection tool. So how you would use this is that each enemy within the game pretty much has set amount of defense that they automatically have. Uh, depending on their level and what type of mode that they are in the game. So like raid bosses would have a, co a constant amount of defense, for example, uh, and then like Colosseum would have higher than normal defense, for example, and then average other types of enemies within the game would have like a kind of like normal amounts of defense. So you can go ahead and kind of finagle around with that uh, in this side right here. So like there's even a button right here that says, is this Colosseum? If no, okay, just leave it at no. If yes, click yes, all right? So just to give you guys an example of showing like the Coliseum having higher defense and such and being added as part of the calculations. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna say we're fighting the Morning Star in Coliseum for whatever reason. We're just gonna say we're fighting Morning Star in Coliseum. We're gonna raise his level to 800. Uh, this is typically around the area where you do start want to heavily rely on those general defense down debuffs and stuff to make sure you can actually get through their defense to actually start hitting them harder and such. All right. So from here, you could actually click the Coliseum button. And right now, before I click it, it actually says a defense of 7630. If you click yes, it shoots up to like almost 23,000. Okay. And that makes a significant difference when it comes to damage output. If we wanted to as well, we can even add some common metals. Uh, let's go ahead and add... Let's add Kyrie EX. All right. If we calculate this as right now, you can see as of right now, it she's only going to do one damage against a level 800 Morning Star in Coliseum with that amount of defense. Okay. And... What makes me so excited about this is because it, I can only explain so much in terms as an influencer 
how uh, setups tend to work <laughs> throughout the different modes and stuff. And of course, for the newer players who are just getting into the game and stuff, uh, these type of nuance differences can get kind of uh, <laughs> kind of confusing as to like why things are not working, not working. So like one of the most common things I would typically tell people is uh, you might as well just be using the Kairi EX or Shioni EX within your first slot instead of a stained glass metal because you're only going to be doing one damage in the first place anyways because it's Coliseum and you have this higher defense over here uh, using a stained glass metal in slot one that consumes gauges, doesn't restore gauges, doesn't restore HP, etc. Uh, is not going to be nearly as useful. So things of that nature just become a lot easier to understand and explain on my part, for example, or any of you who happen to be teaching newer players yourself by using this tool. This tool helps provide a more open visual towards that type of aspect now too. Uh, one of the things you can also now do too is the fact that sometimes in events, the opponents start off with buffs or debuffs. If you really wanted to, depending on the enemy you're fighting, you can go ahead, click on this little gear that is over here, all right? It says edit, click on it, and you can actually adjust the stats of the enemy that you're fighting, which will obviously affect the damage output that you emit to them as well. So a common buff that we would typically see amongst enemies and such, would they would have an increase in defense, for example. So let's just give uh, the Morningstar over here a plus four general defense uh, and a plus four power defense, for example, okay? So now they have increased defense buffs. You'll see over here in the right hand section of the screen, and I'll go more in depth about the uh, debuff tally a little bit uh, later in the video. But you'll see in this right hand section of the screen uh, that he does now have plus four uh, general defense uh, buff and power defense buff. Okay, and that gets recorded and also gets added to the equation in terms of the damage calculation. Just to give a few more examples as to how to use the enemy options tool over here on the left hand side. Uh, let's say you wanted to fight a raid boss. All right, we can click level one over here. Click on the raid boss over here. And there's already some pre-selected raid bosses depending on like the, the attribute and such. Um, so right now it's on power raid boss and we have a, a uh, behemoth over here as the option. If I wanted to change this type of raid boss option over here, I can actually click on the name right here. Click on the specifics because there's even a search enemies section right here. I uh, will do raid boss and we'll do power. Okay. From there we see it's just him. Now during raid boss weeks, you typically tend to level up your raid boss. Obviously, it's not going to be a level 100 or a level 300 or 900 or whatever right away. So what if you just want to in, uh, increase his level incre uh, by increments, by small increments? You can just click on the level section over here uh, and just type in whatever level. So let's say he's level 6. Boom. Okay, now he's level 6. Now luckily, one of the cool things found out about raid bosses is that they tend to have a set amount of defense regardless of their level. And again, all these specific types of uh, data uh, in terms of the damage calculation stuff can be found within the, the methods section of the site. But at the very least, this is a quick rundown of how the enemy options section on the left hand side over here uh, actually tends to work. Now, in case you're not actually looking to use the enemy's options section of the site on the left hand side anyways, uh, you can actually go ahead, click on this minus sign that's right above the right next to the name. Click on it and that entire section will go away to make it a little bit easier on the eyes. And the right hand side for the buff debuff tally section as well, you can also do the same thing. So if you just kind of want that normal, uh, typical looking basic layout that we're kind of accustomed to more or less to seeing at this point in time um, you can go ahead and just kind of minimize those two sections so it's a little bit easier to look at this was a suggestion on my part because i figured uh, a lot of the newer players <laughs> aren't going to really want to dabble with too much of that just yet until they actually start getting a grasp at how things works in terms of setups anyways so rosie was kind enough to actually incorporate uh that option right there Okay, so real quick guys, I actually want to show you guys an example of how of how much more accurate this new version of the site with the new formulas that have been incorporated from Rio Gossin and Mixes' his help actually affect the damage calculation in terms of setups and such, okay? So as of right now, using the new version of the site, this is an example Olympia setup that I have using my own key, my own metals, uh, in my own version of the Keyblade. Literally, this is everything specific to me within my version of the game right now, okay? 
um, and I have the stats, I have like traits and everything. It's literally using my own custom metals, and I even have the my own custom sub-slot uh, multiplier additions as well that I currently have in game. And when I calculate this damage, uh, it is fighting against a level 500 Queen B and is not Colosseum. Uh, and when I calculate it, it ends up being about 64,676,985. Now, when we take a look at this compared to the old version of the site, where, and here I actually provided the same exact setup, all right? The old version of the site with the old uh, formulas that were provided actually made the calculation in terms of damage over 300 million damage, okay? Right there. That is a significant difference between the 65 million, <laughs> roughly, that is shown on the new version of the site, okay? And to even help show you guys uh, how a lot more accurate this is too, I've actually prepared a, a little clip of me fighting an actual Queen Bee within the game now too, that's at level 500. Okay, so here's a video that I pre-recorded. Uh, showing me fighting against a queen bee that's level 500 and it's using the exact same setup that I have on the website, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna skip this a little bit so that we can skip all the beginner fodder uh, enemies that we fight. We'll go straight to the, the queen bee. Alright, so now we're at the queen bee. Right here, okay, I'm about to use Illustrated Kyrie. If we look on the site, it shows that Kyrie EX uh, will do roughly about 70,000 uh, 413 damage, okay? And it's only one hit, so it's gonna do the full amount in that one hit, right? And we'll go ahead and take a look back at the video, right? And we pause it right there, we can see that the damage does about 69,313. That right there is soup, uh, so much more closer uh, to this new formula that we're using right now with the 70,000 uh, 413 that is shown right here compared to the old damage formula uh, that was provided in the past where it would actually state that my illustrated Kyrie would do about 248,000. Now this is a significant difference. Granted, keep in mind like I mentioned before, it's still not 100% accurate, but it is by far a whole lot more better <laughs> and more in turn uh, and more closer in terms of uh, the ballpark we want to be looking at um, compared to the old damage uh, formulas so right here we're going to use my buzz that we just that we're just getting right now uh from the new toy story collaboration um just showing my setup right here just to show that i actually am using the same one but i'm using the buzz right now okay and we can see right here that in game my buzz is doing about 132,751 damage per hit now according to the site with the new damage formula it states that i should be doing about 179,603 damage per hit, uh, which is honestly still fairly close to the 132,751 damage per hit that I'm doing actually in game, compared to the old version of the site with the old formulas, where it would actually say I'm doing about 443,000. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one last cast using my Key Art 16 EX Plus medal that I have right now in my setup. All right, so right here, as you can see right here, my Key Art 16 EX Plus is actually doing about a million damage, 731, okay, per hit. If we take a look at the site, uh, we can see that it shows that my Key Art 16 EX Plus will do about 984,957, which again is still fairly close to the actual number presented in game, compared to when you look at the old uh, formulas that were presented to us uh, that were current in the old version of the site it actually shows us that we're supposed to be doing about uh, four million seven hundred thirty eight thousand eight hundred and three that's it that's it's a huge huge difference huge difference I just wanted to quickly present that little example to you guys showing just how much of a significant difference uh, these new damage formulas actually mean and present in terms of calculations now uh, and to help show you guys as well that you can actually start using the site as more of an actual damage calculator now uh, at this point in time compared to using it solely as a comparison tool anymore and again please thank Rio Gossin and Mixes and Rosie for working together to help make this possible on the site
The only things I want to make sure I mention real quick in terms of the actual uh, formulas and damage calculator and whatnot before I move on to the actual uh, buff debuff tally that's over here in the right hand side of the screen. I want to go ahead and mention real quick that the guilt percentage bonuses that you obtain for medals such as like the stained glass medals and such uh, will be added as part of the layout uh sometime soon in the future rosie also wanted me to make sure to let you guys know that pvp multi keyblade support is also supposed to be coming soon and the last thing that they wanted me to make sure to mention to you guys uh, in terms of damage calculation is to please be aware that they in terms of actual damage calculation uh they are still not quite certain as to the actual defense that enemies will have throughout the game whose level ends up being above 1000 okay so if you happen to be fighting an enemy above level 1000 such as like in coliseum or just in the game in general uh please be aware that the damage uh calculations might be uh, off by a good chunk because of the fact that they are still kind of finicky on trying to find the actual values for those type of enemies but other than that the last thing i want to talk about in terms of the new changes that were made to the site is going to be the buff debuff tally on the right hand section of the screen and i will tell you guys right now this is probably personally as a content creator one of my most favorite things uh that i enjoy about this update <laughs> i actually suggested uh to rosie about adding this um quite some time ago so I was really happy about the fact when she actually mentioned that uh, she would actually be implementing this now. And the main reason why I kind of wanted uh, something like this was primarily because of the fact that uh, it makes things a whole lot easier to actually keep track of what type of buffs and debuffs we actually have within the game. Uh, without having to like keep track of it mentally as well as the fact that it also helps newer players who are just getting into the game um, be able to understand how to uh, work with setups a whole lot easier now too. For everyone out there who is watching this video um, or has watched other Union Cross YouTubers uh, talk about setups and stuff, you typically tend to hear us say like, oh, we have so-and-so amount of buffs and debuffs and stuff like that. We have to constantly say it in order to help remind you uh, as to the actual stats are being implemented. But now that Rosie has actually implemented a visual for us to actually look at, I don't actually have to say that as nearly as much anymore. I can just be like, yeah. Uh, just keep an eye out over here. You can see over here that we have with this setup, we pretty much have almost max buffs over here except reverse. We're missing the reverse buffs, but that doesn't matter because we're not using a reverse uh, setup in the first place. And if we look down below, we can even see we have max debuffs as well. Um, aside from reverse, but it doesn't matter because we're not using reverse. It's just a lot easier uh, to explain. Um, both visually and vocally now because of the fact it uh, doesn't require me um, or other people to actually explain what is going on with the, within the setup nearly as much okay so this is one of my favorite things and just real quick there's a few things about the buff debuff uh, tally section that uh, I want to quickly explain to you guys in terms of how it actually works and how it's used and such so as of right now the buff debuff tally is completely clean okay and we're going to go ahead and add some medals. So at the time of making this video, the Toy Story medals are actually avail available for you guys to get right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at Buzz Lightyear. So if we read Buzz Lightyear, he says he raises your power strength by 4, lowers targets defense and upright defense and power defense by 4. He raises the special attack bonus the guilt by 40% and does more damage with one enemy left including raid bosses and then it gives a bunch of stats okay so this is what happens if we go ahead and add Buzz Lightyear to the setup okay we can see right here in the right hand section of the screen all of the buffs and debuffs that he is actually applying to both you and your opponents um, within his own slot uh, in slot one you might have also noticed as well is that we have a tally over here and a total tally uh, section over here. These are simply to help keep track of the overall total amounts of buffs and debuffs that your setup is uh, applying overall uh, in case that happens to uh, 
interest you. So as of right now, these are the bus and debus that we are applying by slot one from just buzz. All right. So now let's say I want to apply a different. One. Let's say I want to do Woody. Okay. Now Buzz Lightyear is a power metal and was only applying power buffs and debuffs. How whereas Woody over here is a speed metal, does the exact same thing but just for speed. All right. So if I go ahead and add Woody over here. All right, we can actually see that by the time we reach slot two, uh, we also now have both the power buffs from Buzz, and we also have the speed buffs now from Woody. And the same thing applies for debuffs. And you can actually see here as well that because of the fact that they both provide minus four general defense down, it is now capped out at the max of minus seven general defense down. And same thing with the upright, because they're both upright metals. So that is also maxed out. Um, and the same thing with the buffs, because Woody provides speed, there's only minus four speed. And because Buzz provides power, there's only minus four power. So it's, it's very incremental in terms of setups for the buff and debuff tally on the right hand side. So if I want to go ahead and add in more metals, for example, let's say I want to add uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus by slot 3 for just whatever god awful reason. <laughs> we can see that by the time we reach slot 3, we have max buffs and debuffs, as well as we're also applying the uh, PSM strength debuff to the enemy as well by slot 3. Okay. Now, after showing this, there's going to be times that you're curious or, or just for explanation purpose, you want to know how many buffs or debuffs are actually being applied up to a certain, certain slot instead of the entire keyblade. Um, so in this instance, you can actually use the slider that is actually right here on the bottom section of the buff and debuff uh, panel. So let's say I want to find out how many buffs and debuffs are actually being applied just by just from slot one itself. I don't want to see the entire first three slots, just slot one. We can actually slide this uh, to the left or right to go to our slot. So in this case, slot one. And it shows us by the time we've reached slot one, we've only achieved uh, the buffs and debuffs that Buzz has provided. Uh, if we want to go up to slot two, we can see that now it's showing us all the buffs and debuffs we currently have up to slot two. It has not taken into account carry yet in slot three and it's not until we actually reach and slide up to slot three that we start seeing uh Kyrie's effect take into place now one of the cool things about this tally two now as well is that it also takes into account if you happen to be using any dispel type effects metals all right so a good common example for example is man in black man in black cures the status effects so bus and debus of both you and your opponent so, as you can see right here in slot 4, all of the buffs and debuffs are currently gone because Man in Black uh, has gotten rid of it. And if we happen to be using another type of buffer debuffer metal by slot 5, it would actually show that. So let's just add uh, Musketeer Pete over here, okay? In slot 5, it only shows the buffs that Musketeer Pete provides, uh, which is a raise in strength and power strength by seven tiers reverse strength by three it only shows that because of the fact that man in black did get rid of all of the previous buffs and debuffs from slot four so if we wanted to scroll through the the slider again we can see that uh slot one it shows just buzz slot two it shows buzz and woody's buffs combined uh slot three it shows uh Kyrie pretty much dominating the entire buff and debuff category uh slot four man in black erases everything and then slot five it shows uh pete uh, just pete's buffs and stuff now aside from that the only disclaimer i want to let you guys know is that at the time of making this video uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Naname is currently the only type of like odd effect uh, metal within the game uh, on the site whose ability doesn't work properly uh, simply because of the fact that Rosie has mentioned to me that it just kind of uh, her ability seems to just throw like her coding out of whack and stuff. Uh, so she has to spend some time to actually make sure that gets implemented properly. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys are able to find as much use out of these new changes and this new update um, as I was. I was really giddy when I found out about this. Uh, but one last time before we end this video, please let Rio Gossen, Mixes, and Rosie uh, know how much you appreciate their hard work uh, for making these changes. Uh, they put a lot of time and effort into doing the research dedicated and Rosie... Uh, 
put in the actual coding and stuff on the site to put this together possible for us. And I'm just really happy to be part of it that I could actually help out in my own way as well. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinmart Team Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.